Thank you so much for joining me as Game Edge. We're back in Green Hell. We have a visitor across the pond from us. I'm not sure what the heck he's doing there. I, I don't see why he's even in there. We've been there before. I'm starting to think these guys are, are coming in for another attack. I don't know. I need to go around. Really need to get myself around this area here. Oh, I know I can hop up here somewhere. There we go. It's kind of dark, but I got no choice. Oh, there's some little energy. Oh, that's sweet. We can swim back afterwards. I just want to risk it. There's a little energy. Oh, yeah, baby. That's just what we needed. Thank you. Oh. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> it's trippy, dude. I think there's only one, but maybe more hiding around that area. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No rocks, dude. Oh! guys friends are you talking to the scorpion you got skills or something with scorpion talking you little shit huh huh how's that feel huh you do those people god darn you um all right well oh stick blade that's not what i'm looking for where's my friggin arrow ah whatever yeah i see a scorpion don't you dare it's the slowest attack ever there we go <laughs> all right I guess he was caught. Oh, what the frig? Guy don't have game, man. He can't jump. I don't know why he was chillaxing here. My arrow looked like a bouncer. Maybe shattered off of him. All right. At this point, might as well bring something back. I don't think I can make it across here with this anyways. I'm going to fall in the water. We're going to lose this rock. Yep. Might need this anyways. All right. Well, we cleared out the local action. Not the nice guys. The nice ones are up here. These guys are very peaceful up there. They're not looking for any kind of fights and stuff. And they've been uh, hurt quite a bit. So, you know what? At this point, it kind of feels good to get one for us, right? Yeah, it does. All right, I'm, I'm down on arrows here, so uh, we're going to have to do some work a tiny bit. I'm going to have to make myself... What do we have? We need three more of these. So we have, what, two there, I think? Two. That's three. All right, and that's, what, three. Sorry. There you go. <laughs> Good calculations, Game Edge. <laughs> that's one, that's three, that's ten. I thought there was somebody standing there. No rain at all, eh? A tough one. Okay, we can grab ourselves. Uh, where I take three, it's one too many. There we go. It's all good. All right, uh, well, we're gonna have to make ourselves another chest too today, big time. But first, I'm gonna need to get some sleep so we can get some stuff done. We need this arrow made. Like I mentioned, it's not good that we have to. We're using quite a bit though, and they've been uh, quite trustworthy. Oh, I should have altered that. And handy as frig. I'll just admit to it. It's uh, survival of the fittest. Now, these, each one of them have a... Some people ask me all the time. There is durability needs. So each time we craft, you get a little better on durability as we go through it. So the better off we are. The more we craft, the better off we are, of course. The last one we're crafting right here, which will be a five stacker right here. How much is left on this one? 88. I don't know where the last one. 94, I think. Yeah, 94% possibly. All right, it's all good. We'll put that back in there. And I guess we're going to get some sleep for the night. I'm going to need another chest. I don't know where we're going to place that. Maybe right behind here or there? Maybe there. Because we need to close this off over here. Last time I checked, I believe we cannot build onto the side of this. It would be nice if we could put... Oh, we can. Oh, this could be sexy. We can close it off with mud and put a chest in there. 
Oh, that would look pretty darn nice. I think that would work out. And here we just put up a regular wall or, I don't know. We have a door there. That's one I want to go in and out of the most. Okay. Um, all our food is still going there. It's not the greatest of food either. I'm, I'm not exactly proud of it. <laughs> It'll do the job. Uh, we have our stones too. I guess we can drop off a couple in our little crate over here. We do have some storage areas uh, for those. Those are the big ones and the small ones right here. So we can just throw off a couple because when we're building, we really don't want to have that problem. We've got a lot of work to do. But I don't know. We'll see how much we can get done before the end. Oh, are you still tired? We are kind of tired, eh? Yeah, the crab's running by. All right. Hey, how the hell are you doing that dead? Oh. Oh, you little bum. <laughs> oh, God, I hate that thing so much. Yeah, it's not funny now, buddy. Okay, it's nice and quiet now. No mice, no nothing. Hello. <laughs> Let's get some sleep. We'll see each other in the morning. All right, nine o'clock. Up really late. More than I usually like to be, that's for sure. Uh, let's get ourselves a couple of those right here. And uh, yeah, we're going to look at the fire too if we can. So let's grab this. Take Max of these little suckers. We're going to start uh, closing off this area here. Okay, I'll throw another one in there. I don't know why this came back, by the way. I, I, I know I killed it. I know I killed this thing. It is kind of nice, though. I wonder if I can build onto it. <laughs> we'll see if that works out. Uh, we have our tree here, by the way. It grew back, and I won't have any more room here. So sorry, buddy. There we go. Uh, worthless stick. Well, it's not worthless. You know what I'm saying. All right, uh, some dry leaves here, too. Actually, I'm going to need a couple of those. I should put those back in front of the fire where we can use them. Clear up the area a tiny bit. Pick up that stick. Pick up sticks. I mean, that's to be a game when I was a kid. <laughs> Not the best of games. That is for sure. But it was. What the hell? Oh, okay, I thought it was broken. Take Max. Yep. We're going to use them. Okay. And I guess... Drop this off here for now. And get ourselves some lashings. Actually, you know what? What if these things did spawn on me now? Oh, don't want to risk it. More than a feeling. Put it in there. And let's get ourselves some of you. Let's take a full stack. There we go. Got ten of them. And we're also going to look at armor and everything else before we go back out. Because we did get a key cat attack last episode. So, really not cool. Really not cool. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't too impressed with it. Oh, it scared the bejesus out of me. Still today, I'm feeling it. Okay, there's that. That's there. That's good. We keep a skylight if you want to, but not interested. I'm going to close that off the top part here with a mud roof. Like that. So we got a little bit of mudding to do. I'll probably need a little sip of water and stuff too, right? Actually, a little bit of everything. So let's just wash yourself off. Scare yourself a little bit of grub in our stomach. All right, we got a little bit of mouse meat. This is bad. Separate these. We'll get some uh, of you and you. This is going to go bad anyways. We'll eat some of that. That's going to go bad. Uh, oh, larvae. We can put that in here. There you go, a little angel fish. Let's see what happens when I put this in. <laughs> okay, and how are we doing? Carbs and everything else? Oh, we could use some more carbs. And yes, type more pecky. And we are going to have to get some food and stuff. There's some crab right there. I mean, it would be a nice little diet change. Uh, I'm just sucking with these things, though. <laughs> Take. I don't know where the other guy went, but he just buggered off. Oh, there he is. Oh, he just went through the foundation. What's up with that? He's hiding underneath my water. Dude, that's not fair. Ha ha! Oh, come on. Work with me. Okay, thank you. Okay, whoops. <laughs> the hovering crab. 
All right, expand and uh, oh, we can't deshell this thing. There you go. We can only cook them like that. All right, well, we'll put them on a fire. I guess we'll deshell them in a second. Mister Hovering, come over here. Perfect. We can make advantage of that too if you want to. All right, let's get serious here. We gotta get that mud going. We can come back and check that out in a second. Oh, to get the mud going, that's why I was coming here for. I'm gonna need you, and I'm gonna need you. Because unfortunately, dry season makes mudding a whole lot more complicated. Because, uh, and we don't have the metal Biden, so yeah, definitely not in the story mode. We haven't found it. It didn't. I, I want to make sure you guys know it's in the game, it's just not where we are location wise. So that is a problem. But it's not so hard. We can grab a bunch of water with these little suckers and have that done. There we go. Push that mud around. Push that mud around. Every one of us push that mud around. Supper. Ugh. Damn it. I don't want to waste any more arrows. Okay. So we can fill this baby up really quick. There's a whole bunch of dead frogs everywhere. We don't have to get rid of a banana tree, which is really good news. I'm going to tell you right now. Oh, I really appreciate that. Drop that off. We've done pretty good. We've gotten a lot of the stuff that we need. And again, if you guys are putting kind of like tips or tricks inside or stuff that I might have missed. Not tips or tricks. We don't talk about the misting stuff. Um, I'm actually recording this back to back. So I will get to them, trust me, for next episode. This is where I'm going to start looking at everything you guys are saying. Hopefully the last one, since I missed anything. I would appreciate it. I mean, I love knowing if, I, if there's some areas and stuff. I missed a body or anything. Definitely always cool to know. Minus that it's actually a body. That's the sad part. Oh, crap. I just forgot. I just... I might have burnt the freaking crabs. Cooked. All right, good. I'm filthy. Oh, boy. Can I just take? Thank you. <laughs> that was a little dangerous. <laughs> I don't know because it's on shells. Whoa. Oh, okay. And I have leeches on me. What? Who'd want to eat this, dude? Look, my hand is dirty. I'm watching something walk past over there. And I see it right there. And it, it walking like a cat does, but I'm not sure. I'm not positive. So I've been kind of like confused whether or not I have to worry about a cat coming at me or not. So far, so good. Okay. I brought some uh, mud over there. I'm just making some extra in case. We'll just uh, push this over here and slice and dice it. We do uh, obviously have some serious skills. Because, uh, yeah, mud bricks are not easy to make. There we go. Right consistency of everything with a little bit of camp ash. There we go. Nice. Perfecto. All right, let's get the stuff in here. Oh, right into the wood, dude. That was smart. Okay. So, there. <gasps> That's good. Love it. Now we can at least make that little bit of a chest we need. And it's also closing up this area nicely. A nice little window over here, too. Alright. There's still this one area here I didn't do. <gasps> Jump shot! Okay, wait. No, oh, God, you have no skills, dude. Well, it sounded like someone's behind me for a second. <laughs> All right, now I got skills. All right, good, good, good. So all I need is one more for that one, and we've sealed off this whole area with a nice little window. I'm liking that. Okay, grab. Very cool. It's a little high window, but it's okay. It does, it does good. Okay, it's still wide open here. I know people are gonna say that. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna need to get ourselves a storage unit. Another one. We're gonna need that big time. Let's see if I can make... I mean, last time I tried, it didn't work. But I know I used to put two of these in here. It's just because you can't... You gotta move it with that. I know we can do two. Just like that. There we go. Perfect. Now, things drop back behind here. You just have to open up here. And you can grab anything you want from this area. 
So it's not a big, big problem. Is that a stick in there? Okay. So let me go and get some more mud and stuff. We're going to need some more stick sticks. So let's grab some of those. You're probably saying to yourself, what is that up there? Well, that's that's not important. That's just a bee's nest up there, so it's all good. Poor parts to get in there before we close off everything. Okay, let's get... Am I out of sticks already? Really? That was a freak load of sticks, dude. There you go. That's a 10 max. We actually went through a pile already since we've been back pretty much. Okay. And now we just need some mud. Just like a couple pieces. There's not a tremendous amount for this one, which is great. It's not like a roof piece where you have to put like eight of them. Zikaza is looking good. We do need a place. People are asking me, why do you bother making this? Uh, because we need it. We do need it. Am I out of sticks? No. Okay. We planks though. We'll chop down some big trees on our way back. There's a few. I'm gonna take care of that. Just gonna make sure the mud is done. Still reach over there. That's pretty good. Okay, good. Nice. So I should have some big trees that grow back here, like this one. That's perfect. This axe has been pretty darn reliable too, you know it, right? We would look lucky as heck with this. I'm not chopping down the, the uh, base of that. No way in heck. Okay, we're going to need to make room in the side of our pouch for sure. Most likely, so... Chop, chop. Okay, where is it the problem now? Where is the problem? That's probably the obsidian. Oh no, it's the bandages again. It's stupid. I not love them. You know what I'm talking about. It's just, they get in the way. I really wish, and I mean this heart of heart, I really wish this would be easier to put in. A little storage area. And I think you guys are in the same place. You guys have done this before. You know what I'm talking about. It is not easy. We'll put these away, though. We don't want to lose them. These are handy as frig. Okay. And any big trees here we can chop because we're really close by. This is a no-no tree. That thing will hurt you. That one too. That one too. Holy balls. Okay. I'll have to pick up all the sticks and stuff afterwards. Not an emergency right now. Okay. No! <laughs> you know exactly what's going to happen there. It's going to chop that down. Okay. <laughs> he likes his long sticks. Okay, so I just need a couple mud bricks and we're good to go. That's what we're talking about. Make our day. We'll have a nice two storage chest there. We'll be able to at least put away a whole bunch of stuff in there. Okay. I want to kill that nest up there. I couldn't take it anymore. It's just buzzing after buzzing. All right, threw everything on the ground here. Everything is good to go. We just need to finish up the last little bits and pieces left here. Also made another mud stack on the other side just to make sure. All right, so that's great. Now we can actually put some stuff away with like regular people. <laughs> They're stuck in a jungle. What? Uh, but yeah, I can pick up at least stuff like this and obsidian stone, which kind of bothers me that I can't put anything away over there. So I'll probably have to sort that out afterwards uh, inside this fine chest of ours. We might have to make another one afterwards, too. But we've done pretty good. We got all that... Oh, you son of a... I just want... I need quiet time. I need some quiet time. Okay? There's enough bodies all over the ground. Oh, hello. Okay. All washed up and good to go. Killed the frog, by the way, if you're wondering. It is gone. I killed it. Killed it good, too. Alright, let's go see what we need for food-wise. I do need some protein and stuff. I have, unfortunately... The nice smoke stuff here is about to go. It will not last till the morning. So we'll take care of that. Uh, we'll actually, we can actually make a bandage out of that if we want to. I'm going to eat it uh, just because I can. And this stuff here has been smoked. Now, it's not the greatest meat, but it's still meat, so we're not going to complain. It's not like I've done some great hunting skills or anything here. We just pretty much scavenged the ones we killed and uh, the stuff that's been left on the ground. So pretty okay. Three days left to see. Pretty okay. Uh, this stuff is going to go bad too, so we can get rid of that. I think I'm not mistaken. 
I saw some bananas here. Very nice. The bugger's not there anymore. Across. Right, we have no more visitors. No, I think they're spying on us. I swear to God. All right, what else we have here? We're good, actually. We're really in good shape. I did fill up my water to a tiny bit on this one. But I guess I could do a little more. Kind of helpful to keep this going. We want as much water as possible. All right, early morning. Oh, yum. <laughs> little crab on the side. Just waiting for us. Nice way to wake up in the morning, can I tell you? Uh, so it's a great thing about this, like I was mentioning, we're built to fill up the other chest with some stuff and leaving this uh, alleviated with some space. I don't even know why I have this bite in there. It's clean. It is clean. I guess I must have kept it in case... I don't remember why I did that. There's still a stone in there. We should probably be where we're going to build with our next axe, by the way, if you guys are wondering. That is going to be... going to try that. I know I like the bone one, too. You guys always like it, too. It's really cool. I like it. Uh, but, you know, sometimes you just need something a little different. And obsidian seems to last a lot longer, and it's better for survival for now. Now, again, we're doing better quality as we're going through this. And we'll rotate this back out here. We'll keep all these charcoals here as much as possible. We will need... And I'm telling you right now, we will need to make an effort uh, to, of course, get this all filled up right there. This little sucker. Whoops, right here. So I'm going to start putting some sticks in as soon as I see it. I'm going to be dropping them off in there and keeping us going. And, of course, we have uh, more crab if we want to. Yeah, nothing. Fine. Fine, you all. And those other, well, frogs on there. They're left there as a reminder to the rest of them to stay away as much as they possibly can. All right, let's do this. Let's grab the last bits and pieces here. Of this one. Can I put this up here or am I just too short? Uh, My guy is four foot one. Uh, That's gotta be like six plus, right? I guess these things. Uh, I wonder how high. Uh, Looks about six plus, at least. Maybe uh, seven with a thing here. I don't know. Uh, uh, it's up to code, up to standards. All right, so that's okay. Maybe throw a couple more logs in there and have those all kind of prepared for us to go. Let's take Max. It's still dry season, by the way, so it's kind of off here. It's kind of throwing me off a little bit. Got to make a shower too if we can. That's gonna be super important for us. And uh, yeah, you take Max. You. We do have the logs, so why not at this point, right? That's a lot to do in this game. <laughs> oh my god. Still have to go out and venture again and check out everything. We're pretty close to the final points and pieces that we need for this. But I would like to have some more security. And again, like we always say, it's about the foods, right? And keeping yourself healthy. And without this, I have a problem. So I need to really stockpile on really good food. Like very soon. But I do hear this little bit of a snorting going on on the outside there. Which means there is a fine little piggy out there waiting for us. And I'm hoping... We can grab one once and kill him off, and so we can eat him up. All right, I need this done here. Probably got to chop down this tree. And where is he? I hear you, dude. There you are. There you are. Don't go too far. Don't go too far. Pick up your nuts. Shouldn't drop your nuts, dude. Kind of dangerous. They're not supposed to be removed like that. Oh, God. He's making me go really far. Oh. <gasps> he suckered his friend in. That's horrible. He would turn around to see what happened. Oh, man. His poor little friend got the little Becky. Beckery. Because I got some leeches from that, too. Am I too heavy? No. I should be perfect. Ah. Uh. See that right in our freaking camp when we leave. I need him to stop. <gasps> oh, what a shot! Get the stuff off the Barbie. We are eating like kings tonight, honey. <laughs> All right. Okay, put this over here. We'll leave this next to this here. Is that stuff done? Oh, it is. Okay, good for you. We got some good food going in here, buddy. Okay, so... There's some pecky meat. 
Then we have some cappy right after that, so we can like eat all this afterwards without any problems. Which is where this is going to come in handy. This actually, I was heard I need to keep this, the cat fang. So this can be interesting. We we'll have to keep her an eye on it. I suppose we need it. Uh, there's crud and everything in this one. My God, there's a lot. This is like the pharmacy of things. Eh? <laughs> Should probably keep it like that. Anyways, we're gonna just grab one here with just meat. Because, like I said, it's gonna be very important for us. That was a really good hunting within two shots. I think we got ourselves enough meat. For a couple. Shred that, baby. And we still need to go back, by the way, to the uh, steamboat. I suppose you guys were mentioning again. I still have to go back and pick that up. And I will do it. A matter of time. Just want to make sure we have everything. I still have leeches on me. I see that, too. Okay. So, yeah. I'm going to put those pecky meat in here. And uh, this is the cappy meat. Sorry, I mean Cappy meets even better. This should last 19 hours. Without it, this should be finished. Enough time for us to get this done, I think. I believe so. Without any kind of big problems. I need some more charcoal, which I happen to have here. I saw it before. Why? Because I'm just going to fill up my fire really quick. They want to go back and forth and grab all the other stuff. But I think we did an excellent job today. We did pretty darn good. I'm super happy. Let's take a look at it. <gasps> Hello, rocks. Oh, yeah. It's looking pretty cool. Really nice. So, thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. If you guys are enjoying us, please take the time, hit the like button. If you're brand new, please go ahead and subscribe. Thank you for being part of this channel every single day. You guys are the best. This is Game Edge, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.